up, roommates? It's your boy the other day, and we are back with another reaction. And we are checking out Shangri La Frontier, and of course, I got the infamous co host, Mike on the mic. And we're reacting to Shangri La Frontier episode three, which I just said. But my dude, Son Raku, is kicking ass and taking names, but he's looking like he's about to take a big L right now from Lycagon the, Sky, uh, the Night Slayer. The Lycagon, the Night Slayer. He's found a unique monster, legendary Pokemon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And apparently, they're linked to the overall, the overall story of the game. Yeah, but we have no knowledge of what that overall story yeah. is. So we're just assuming things and giving you our prediction on that. So without further ado, let's just jump into it and see what Sunraku's up to. And see how this battle is playing out. Black Wolf, Night Slayer. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the uh, girl with the massive armor sword running yeah she's got to be high level she's super high level because everybody's looking at her like what the fuck is she doing around here oh she's going hunter that was the girl he was with before <laughs> she wants to kill everybody she wants to kill everybody who would think such a little fragile thing is behind is the reason behind that tank of a player a coordinate teleporter sounds like a really high level item that us gone bruh that was od yeah that's a high level player yeah that was od right regular ass monsters regular ass respawns oh good lord seven colossi the colossi only seven yeah there's seven unique monsters oh i already see where this is going son raku is gonna take down all of them apparently yeah 30 million people playing this jesus christ and there's not been a single oh and he just ran into lycagon and that's the clan that she's affiliated with. The clan yeah. dedicated to beating this mother. Like a gun, the light night slayer. Run, my guy. Ay, ay, ay. He just don't, stumbled into it. Don't be surprised, bro. <coughs> it's a unique monster. Bound. But he doesn't know any of this. He skipped all the tutorials. He just ran into it. He ran into the game and ran into this monster. Yo, his luck. It has to be due to his luck. It's got to be his luck stat. Because it has to be his luck stat. Bruh. Even the animation on that Lycagon is just ridiculous. Oh, D. There you go, my brother. Uh. That was such a ridiculous parry. He got so lucky with that. But yeah, that's his luck stat. Can't do any damage. Yo, tell me he's going to put up a fight. What level's he at now? Perfect parry. Oh, my goodness. Yep, Vorpal Blades. Okay. Hey. Oh, it made it take a step back, but did he do damage? It got pissed, so apparently it had a hit. he had to feel it. Not a lot, but he had to feel something on it. Oh, that's ridiculous. It just disappeared. Hold on, hold on. All right, so he basically just shadow teleported. Yeah. Oh, he uses, like, the the moon's light being blocked to, like, blend <clears> in with <throat> shit. That's super annoying. OD. Oh, he's anticipating it. Yo, no shit. He's putting up a fucking fight and a half. Perfect parry. The triangle one is the perfect one. Yeah. It's just a frog chill in there. Yo, he's been at it for five minutes and not, hasn't taken one hit yet. Your man's right here is on point. So he's already worn out two Vorpal Blades. Yeah, he's having fun. Oh, uh, he's getting them criticals with no problem right now. Oh, uh, fuck out of here. Oh, uh, it's about to use some kind of area. Combo. Of, yeah, it's about to use some kind of area of effect like spell attack. He's going to bite the shit out of him right now. The fuck? Hit him casually. <clears throat> There's the challenge. There you go. The foreshadowing. He's going to become a unique monster hunter. Basically. Done for. My guy, son, Raku. Oh, what's oh, this? Like, like a gun smart. He got cursed. And there's the animation from the show, like a gun's yeah. mark. All the scars and shit. Equipment cannot be equipped to the body part afflicted with like a gun's mark. Monsters of lower level, will, then will the afflicted character will flee. Conversations with okay, all right. Basically, he fucked. Nah, but that one, the second one was not that bad. NP Monsters of a lower level will flee from you, cause that means that only you can only fight upper tier monsters. Yeah, but what if he's leveling up and he wants to fight a lower level NPC? That's what I'm saying. That he's always forced to level up the hard way. Yeah, basically. So he's gonna basically end up being OP. Can't equip stuff to torso or legs. Yeah, it's basically an equipped curse. Yeah. <coughs> Monsters in the lower level will flee. Conversations with NPCs will be affected by the presence of the mark. The curse can be removed through the prayers of a saint. Or defeat the curse's gaster. So he could get it removed, but he's got to either beat Lycagon or go to a saint. Where which, the fuck do you find the saint at? I assume there's temples in the game. A saint has to be super rare, bro. Probably. Because... Anybody, not just anybody, could take away like a gun's it's curse. Probably a super high level cleric or priest. Yeah. Now he's got to walk around shirtless again. <laughs> he's going around half naked again. What a freak! It definitely is, bro. 
That's the reason you ran into that motherfucker in it's, the first it's place. Almost, almost one hundred percent why you ran into that motherfucker in the first place, bro. If I was you, throw fifteen more points on luck and then distribute the other thirty-five points on your. And you found the bunny. Oh, there's hey, that bunny. There's the bunny. The That's got to be a same breed. Same species. Sub, same species. Don't follow the bunny. Follow the bunny. Don't don't follow the bunny. Always follow the bunny. Some, nothing good ever comes from following shit. He's going to kill you. See, he's thinking like a gamer. Yep. Unique scenario. Rabbitooza. But this says unique quest. Or unique scenario, exactly. Wait, what if this one's unlocked because of the... Uh, the curse. The curse. Because it said uh, the, the, the curse affected how we, the NPCs would talk to him. Yeah. That too. If that's entirely possible. The luck plus... The everything that he's been through. Everything he's been through. He just needs to dump more points on luck. Oh. Recommended level 80? Oh. Yeah. About that. Everybody hurts. About that. No, no. There has to be a reason why they would send them an invitation at be 28 and then the required level is 80. You feel me? There has to be a reason for that. The <laughs> There's a whole hidden village of the rabbits. It's Vorpal Bunny City, baby. They're all talking shit about him. Yeah, it's because he, he yep. There you go. So that was the that was the secret condition. No, it's the Pro condition of probably going up against a unique monster by themselves. Uh, specifically Lycagon and getting the Lycagon scar, the curse. He said he got the Vorpal soul. Also, possibly because he was attacking it with the fucking uh, Vorpal Blades. That too. Because those are rare items. So I guess you would have to have gone up against like a unique monster, gotten a curse mark, and had used some some sort of weapons from the Vorpal Bunnies? Well, Lycagon is a wolf, and those are all bunnies. So you would assume that the Vorpal Bunnies don't really care for the giant wolf unique monster. So true. That's, and it's definitely an NPC. So Emma's the daughter of the village chief. Yeah. Palace of Rabbits. Yeah, that's some nice traditional Japanese architecture right there. So there is a way for other players to get into Rabbitsa, but not to the palace. He's the only one that's ever gotten to that unique scenario. The other ones go to like some other some other player Parts area. Up. Bro, his luck's been off the charts. That us. Oh, this is a whole Yakuza boss, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my man's right here saying the peace pipe. Yeah, the voice actors are crushing this show. That us. My man's look like he got a katana in his ear. Does he have a blade on him? My man's look like some shit a uh, Naruto character was summon. He really does. Purple Bunny Master. Yo, this is a video game anime. That us, bro. This shit is good. This is This shit is good, bro. Like it, it, it feels like a whole fantasy anime, but like he's still walking around with like a bird head and like in shorts, it's just to remind you that it's just not taking itself too seriously. But the NPCs are great. The 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 little the, the cute awkward girl walking around with her level one hundred armor and her uh, fucking elite like guild playing, it, it's it's all good. This is a really really fun anime. Yeah, like yo, they're killing it right now. Like and the fact that he's unlocking so many unique scenarios for the first time that nobody's ever had except for like the like a gun encounter but we don't know how many people have even encountered like a gun true we don't even know because we know that um the girl that likes him she's a part of a guild that hunts like a gun so but we don't know how many people from that guild actually has encountered like a gun. right we don't know anything about because sunraku the protagonist fucking freeballed it into the game made a fucking joke character practically right with the fucking bird head and the shorts true and didn't even go through the tutorial he didn't go to the first city he sprinted through the forest leveling up as hard as he could beat the area boss solo ran into the second city after that he went leveling up and then he ran into Lycagon. and now he's level 28 where he probably shouldn't even be that high it, it, it appears just from my experience in MMORPGs, right? Because MMORPGs, yeah. a lot of it encourages you to group up. Yeah. So, like, that first area that's boss... Why, that's why MMORPGs, it takes me a while to get into because I like to solo level. I like to solo level also. But, like, those, those area bosses look like a boss that would require at least four or five players, all, like, level 10. 
right? Yeah, working in unison. Working, working in cohesion, teaming up to beat that snake. And then once you like beat the snake, you have like a healer, you have like a range fighter, you have one or two frontliners, a tank, yeah, a tank, and that's like you know blocking everything. <clears throat> and then you beat that, and then like all of you go to the next town before it respawns, and then like the next group comes on. Yeah. So he soloed that shit. Oh, he soloed the fuck out of that. He soloed that shit, and then he sprinted because he was poisoned because he didn't have a healer and he didn't have any healing items. He just ass first ran into the next town bro but he need to put some need to put some pep in that um vitality though nah he's he's gonna go like he called himself a glass cannon yep. right glass cannon is a common term for just like hits hard dies fast yeah those players are usually equipped with either a shit ton of healing items or a cleric in the party True. he does not have a party or healing items or or even healing items no he's just like hitting hard and <laughs> running away He's like, yo, I'm going to make sure I don't get it. But thanks to his speed, agility, and luck, it's working so far. It didn't work against Lycagon because he was probably like 70 levels too low. Yeah, and he's also a unique monster. And also because he's a unique monster, which nobody's beaten. But if this is a unique scenario and like he's in Rabbitsa, he's probably going to get either dope-ass items, dope-ass training, or dope-ass missions. Or all three. Eh, I'm going with all three. Yeah, because now he's got access to a place that no other player has gotten to. And on top of that, the fucking the boss of Rabbit has interest in him. Which which I will say this. It's an NPC for the record. It's a fucking NPC and I like the fact that they're making this so like the world building. The world building is amazing and I like it that it's so interactive. You a NPC is acting like a character should like you know what I mean? It's acting like a ca- a real character. Like this is a character that's in the game, but it's not controlled by the game. Like if somebody's real behind it, that's the feel that I'm getting from like the NPCs in this shit. Because an NPC is an insult because and N- because a lot of games don't give NPCs personality. These NPCs have personality. Now part of that's because this is an anime and these NPCs are actual characters in the yeah. anime. But like this game is entertaining to Sunraku because the NPCs have personality. Yeah. And that's why it's such a good game. And they're fucking crushing it. And it's it, it's a great game and it's a great anime about a great game. That is. And with that being said, roomies, we'll see you in episode 4. Like and subscribe and uh when we sell out, we'll be, make much better content for all of you. So and share this with would, your friends. And the set will be better too. Oh, and the set's going to be so much more artistic. Yeah. And so you'll have more cool shit to look at. So like help us sell out so we can bring you cooler shit. We promise that we'll do that. Just I promise us. you. If I have to, if I could do it now, I would. But mm-hmm. since I can't, you know, you should subscribe. Vote share f- with your friends. Vote for us for president and we'll send you $2,000 checks. Like that's, that's the deal we're giving you here. Yeah. And like, 2052. You already know. Later. Peace.